Hi, this is Paul from wave5trade.com. Today is the 28th of March and this is my daily video from our stocks signal service on wave5trade.com. So first of all, our members get these daily videos and the signals are every day, potential longs and short trades on weekly, daily and 60 minute time frames. Very, very simple. You can see all the archives here. Each day, they just click on the image, download the spreadsheet. So I've chosen longs today. There was another bearish run on the markets yesterday in the end. So let's have a look at the long um, spreadsheet here. So I'm looking at daily today, but we do have the weekly and the 60 minute time frames, and we produce these every day. So if the markets turn bullish back up again I'm looking for a potential long fifth wave trade on the daily time frame I can see on TGT on target here this has been on for quite some days now and just seem to be finding uh, some decent support uh, so I'm just going to go to the chart now we're going to go through the setup uh, for this potential long fifth wave trade on TGT so for today's video, I'm using the Think or Swim version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite on Wave 5 Trade. Uh, it is available on Ninja Trader, TradeStation and Multicharts, but I'm using the Think or Swim uh, at a request today. Um, just to for those members that already have this, we have to isolate the wave count. Now, if we just zoom out a little bit here, we can see we've got a low. So you, to isolate this the wave count here, place the cursor over this particular candle and then just above the or inside the oscillator um, wave count you'll see this where the cursor is now you'll see the yellow figures moving so all you need to do is move it to there and see that's at bar count 309 or you can come to this low here because this is corrective um, and see that is 416 then just go to the hourglass wave 5 trade Elliott wave version 2 there click on the cog and change the start bar to 416 if you changed it down to this low it would still give you the same um, same wave count there okay so once that's done we have the wave count and it's automatic now one two three four so the wave force pulled back into our automated uh, pullback zones here uh, on the scanner we have the filtration for the 535 that's between 90 and 140 percent again the 535 oscillator is part of the Elliott wave indicator suite and we see that the stochastics crossed over so this is the daily chart for target as i mentioned uh, so let's have a closer look now at this wave 4 pullback. It's been quite complex, so has the markets. Um, so we've had an initial pullback into this zone, into the amber zone, and then we've tried to make that new high, but then the markets have sold off again and really affected a lot of stocks. So where we are right now is the wave 4's made a slightly new low into the amber zone of our pullback zones here. So if it does find support here, there's an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave 5 high into our automated target zones in purple up here at the top. So entry strategy wise, stop loss is always going to be just below the wave 4 low there at 67.63. And then for an entry, we use the 6.4 moving average high, which is part of the early wave indicator suite here. We're looking to be out of there for our entry. We haven't been out of there on this move back down so far. We also want to be above these pivots here where my cursor is. So I've gone for an entry of 72.19. So the, the risk to reward for this is still great of 1 to 2 into our target zone here. So you could be a little bit more conservative if you wanted to on the entry there. Um, but we are looking for this to turn around. If it does make a new wave for low, we may have to adjust if it finds support into our red zone. But at this moment in time, if it finds support where it is and starts to move back up, breaks the 6-4 moving average high, then we've got a good entry long at 72.19 on our 
uh, fifth wave move to the target zone here and the targets around about $82 so uh, it's a good move good risk to reward uh, and let's see if the markets are in our favor and uh, the long start to take hold again so that's it for today have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow